uh, when writing code. So yeah, let's go on. And uh, the next part is uh, it's an on-click event for the for the general button. And I'll just create it like this. So you have this dollar, and then the general button ID, and we go dot live. Click function. Okay, so basically, I'm creating an, a live, a live on click event. Um, the reason why I'm using live is because you can then click on the save button again if you've changed something. So you don't have to go and refresh your page the whole time to get it to work again. So the live button. Live on click event is, is much better for this. And next, we need to create a variable called uh, ZKR logo, and then we'll equal this to dollar, and we'll get the ID for our logo. Now, this is the ID for that uh, input field, um, and we're just getting the values for this. So let's go to dot value. Val in this case, and then for ZKR Fabicon equals dollar, and then the ID for the Fabicon, so our Fabicon upload dot val, and then the last one is the analytics one, so it's got ZKR. Analytics equals dollar our analytics <clears throat> dot dollar. Okay, so next we can create a data array. Um, so we go var data equals and we add an action we we'll call this action general underscore action so this is the uh, action that uh, the that your post method for for your AJAX uh, will be will be looking for to actually save data to your function down here. But let's just finish up this one quickly, and then we, we go ZKR logo ZKR logo again. Um, so basically, this will be your get variable in the end, or the, your post variable, depending on what you're, you're doing with your post method. Um, so yeah, I'll be using a post and not a get. But yeah, now we're just basically setting our variable here and putting it into this post method, post variable. And we're doing the same for, for the favicon. The same for the analytics. Okay, and then uh, I just need to close this one up. Oh, sorry, semicolon. In the next part, we're going to create the post. So it's a dollar dot post, and then we go AJAX URL data function response. Um, you don't need the re response part, but I've added the, it, it in there just for in case. And then we gonna open curly bracket and close curly bracket, and we go enter. So close this, this one off, 
and then basically what's happening here is uh, this is a global variable or global JavaScript variable which is being used which is the Ajax URL um, this URL actually points to your uh, WordPress files or WordPress 